Convert 54.45 to the base 10 into binary base 4 octal and hexadecimal number. So 54 is the integer part and 0.45 is the fractional part of the number. So converting into binary, binary is base is 2. So 54 divided by 2, 2 2 is 4, 14, 7 is 0, 2, 1 is 2, 7, 2, 3 is 6, remainder 1, 2, 6 is 12, Remainder 1, 2, 3 is 6. Remainder 0, 2, 1 is 2. Remainder 1, 2, 0 is 0. Remainder 1. From bottom to top, 54 to the base 10 will be 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Next is 0 0.45 into 2 is 0 0.9. Carry generated is 0. Fractional part is 0 0.9. So 0 0.9 into 2 is 1.8. Carry generated is 1. Fractional part is 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 into 2 is 1.6. Carry generated is 1. Fractional part is 0 0.6 into 2. That is 1.2. Carry generated is 1. Fractional part is 0 0.2 into 2. 0 0.4. Carry is 4. Carry is 0. Fractional part is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 into 2. 0 0.8. Carry generated is 0. So for 0 0.45 to the base 10, the answer is 0 0.011100. So by adding the steps 2 and step 3, the answer is 54.45 to the base 10 will be one one zero one one zero point zero one 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 zero zero in binary next is base is four next part is base is four so fifty four 4, 1's are 4, 1, 14, 4, 3's are 12, remainder 2, 4, 3's are 12, remainder 1, 4, 0's are remainder 3. So, 54 to the base 10 now is 3, 1, 2 to the base 4 Next is 0 0.45 into 4, which is 1.8, which is 1. Carry generated is 1 and fractional part is 0 0.8 into 4, which is 3.2. Carry generated is 3. Fractional part is 0 0.2 into 4, 0 0.8. 8 carry generated is 0 0.8 is the fractional part so 0 0.8 into 4 is 3.2 carry generated is 3 fractional part is 0 0.2 0 0.2 into 4 is 0 0.8 carry generated is 0 so for 0 0.45 to the base 10 it is 1303 0 0.1303 to the base 4 now combining the steps 
टू एंड थ्री फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट फोर फाइव टू द बेस टेन विल बी थ्री वन टू पॉइंट वन थ्री जीरो थ्री टू द बेस फोर नेक्स्ट इज कन्वर्टिंग द नंबर गिवन नंबर टू ऑक्टल एंड हेक्सा डेसिमल we know that in case of octal we have the base as 8 and for hexadecimal we have the base as 16 so first converting it from we will convert from binary to octal up so the binary number is from binary from decimal we converted it into binary from binary we will convert it into octal and hexadecimal so i will take the binary equivalent that is this number so this number is 1 1 0 1 1 0 Point zero triple one zero zero. So how do you convert this number into octal? For octal, we will consider three bits. So starting from here, these three bits, these three bits, these three bits, and these three bits. Now we will understand that there is a shortcut. Short cut. Shortcut is. Eight four two one. That is this is the code. If the binary number is one, then the code is zero. Okay, not this. Okay, If the binary number is one. Then we write here zero 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 one. If the binary number is two, we write zero zero one zero. Binary number is four. We write zero one zero zero. Binary number is eight. We write one zero zero zero. Now, binary number is one zero zero. That means one zero zero corresponds to four. Zero one one zero one 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 over here one over here. So one plus two is three. So this will be three. One one zero one one zero two plus four is what six, and for six it is one one zero so six and six so for number fifty four point four five to the base ten your octal is sixty six point three four to the base eight. so one is there in this place and one is there in this place in what in case of 2 and in case of 4 when you add them you get what you get 6 so this is the shortcut next same way for hexa same way for hexa decimal number for hexa decimal number We know that the binary number is one one zero one one zero point zero triple one double zero zero triple one double zero. For hexadecimal, we consider four bits. For octal, we are considering three bits. For hexa, we will consider four bits. So one two three four. Will be this okay? But then we short of this, so we will add two more zeros. Then we get one bit, two bit. Then this is three, and again your two zeros. This is four. So zero 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 will be zero. For this, we will again see the shortcut. Zero in the units place, zero in the tens place, zero in the hundreds place. So. That is one plus two three three plus four seven. Then for this, it is again six, 
at the fours place and at the twos place. And for this, it is at the ones place and at the twos place. So three. So thirty six point seven zero will be the hexadecimal for. So solution will be for fifty four point four five to the base ten. Thirty six point seven zero to the base sixteen is the answer. Next question. 